Hello, everyone. Today we have some juicy updates from the world of Welcome to Platteville. Trust me, you don't want to miss it. So, the new season of Welcome to Platteville has just hit the screens and the heat is already on. Olivia Plath recently took to Instagram for a Q&A session and boy did she spill some tea. Let's dive into what she had to say. Firstly, Olivia's divorce from Ethan is still a hot topic this season. Can you believe it? It's like watching a soap opera unfolding in real life. During her interview, Olivia shared some secrets about her life after the divorce and even said that she had a new man. Yes, you heard that right. Olivia has a new gentleman. She told us why she decided to stay on the show despite her divorce from Ethan. She also talked about how difficult it was to deal with the divorce while filming the show. It was pretty hard to deal with when the cameras were rolling, she told fans. Can you imagine having your personal life on display for the whole world to see? It must have been very stressful. Now, let's talk about some of the most interesting things Olivia said during her interview. About the fact that she had to go through a very public divorce. What a shame, they seemed so happy, didn't they? Olivia, who married Ethan in 2018 at the age of 20, said it was difficult for her to go through the divorce, especially because the show allowed many strangers to have an opinion about it. I think going through a public divorce was very challenging and difficult, she wrote. I constantly felt like I was doing or saying something wrong, but I didn't know what else to do. I had never been divorced before, so it was a huge learning curve. Aside from the drama of the divorce, Olivia said she is still looking forward to the new season of Welcome to Platteville. She noted that once the divorce episodes are gone, her part of the season will be lighter and happier. It sounds like there is hope on the horizon. On whether she regrets her divorce, Olivia has made it clear that she has no regrets about her split from Ethan. Divorce is not the right choice for everyone, but it was absolutely the right choice for me," she wrote. It allowed me to finally pursue education, growth, healing, and happiness. I am the most authentic version of myself that I have ever been because I have the opportunity to explore and own this. Olivia also shared that growing up in a fundamentalist Christian family and getting married early was not the best decision for her. I let my parents control my courtship. I married very young to another guy from the fundamentalist world, she told Teen Vogue earlier this year. It didn't work out for me. About whether she was going to change her surname from Plath. Olivia was very adamant that she plans to keep the Plath surname despite the divorce. This is the last time I will publicly answer this question because I am done with it, Olivia wrote. My name is Olivia Marie Plath. I don't care if my current surname came from a marriage, it's still my name." She went on to explain that there was no point in going back to her maiden name, Mags. What do you want me to do? Change it to my father's surname. It's not reasonable. I am not going to spend my life changing my name depending on which man has ownership of me. I strongly disagree with the idea that men own their surnames. Olivia emphasized that everything she has done and everything she owns at the age of 26 bears her current surname. I'm not going to change it just because I got divorced. I'm still Olivia Marie Plath. It's my identity now legally, publicly, financially, and creatively. She mentioned that she could change her name again someday, but only if she wanted to. If my name changes again, it will be when why and how I want it to be," Olivia added, on her current relationship status. So, who is your new boyfriend? Olivia said she has a man, but she's keeping him a secret for now. I'm seeing someone, she wrote. He is the best thing that has happened since I sliced bread. I've been in a public relationship, and it comes with unique challenges, so I keep it private and only share what we're both comfortable with. I create a lot of memories and learn a lot along the way. What do you think of Olivia's revelation? Do you support her decision to keep the Plath name? And who do you think the new mystery man is? Let me know in the comments below. That's all for today's welcome to Platteville Update. If you enjoyed this video, 
Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your friends. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!